Hey, 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 welcome back to another vlog. I am Alexia Nicole and I'm living my life by design and it's Mother's Day. Sunday, May 8th and it's Mother's Day. Um, I text my mom, happy Mother's Day this morning. Well, first, actually, <laughs> wrong. She texts me first, happy Mother's Day and then it said from Aspen. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's cute, thanks. So anyways, then she's like, are you coming to church? So now I'm going to church, y'all. Um, haven't been to church in the hot little minute. I didn't go for Easter. So, here we go. Getting ready for church. This is going to be, of course, a week in the life vlog. Not a real estate vlog. I haven't filmed one in a long time. I haven't posted one in a minute either. But that's neither here nor there. Um, so we're going to do a quick makeup. I've, like, really gotten really good at just, like, my everyday face which i wear makeup every day so if i was to wear makeup every day this would be the face that y'all would see and get i try to be a little bit better as far as like when i'm going to work and going into the office trying to put myself together a little bit more but wearing makeup every day just really isn't my preferred style of living <laughs> it's a lot you know like i just want my skin to breathe anyway my eyebrows are already done this is my favorite foundation um it's my Huda beauty the color is nutmeg Skin finish. As y'all can see, it's a stick foundation. It's really easy to apply, so it like just takes less time than a liquid foundation. Um, and then sometimes, just depending on how much concealer coverage I want, if I want like a really nice pop, um, I'll use this NARS one. This is dark chocolate. Um, and just literally right under the eye, like so, and then hit the corner. You know, the girls on Instagram. So this is in the way to apply the concealer. I'm not really sure what the difference is. Because it still ends up getting gray <laughs> down here. Um, but that's what the girls on Instagram say. So I follow suit. Um, actually, I can really keep this concealer. I can really use the brush to blend it up. Sometimes I do sponge. Um, and I'm trying to move as fast as I can to because first starts at 9 
This is Rare Beauty um, Love Liquid Blush. Uh -huh. Oh, we just like a little color added to the face. All right. So we're going to go in with a little bit of... This is also Fenty Beauty Pro Filter in Honey. Oh, hold my thumb in the eye. I'm moving too fast. Just to filter this under eye out, lock in our concealer. Not really gonna bake. The only time I really actually bake bake is when I plan on having my makeup on for a long period of time. And I really wanna set in the look. Um, but. You know what I mean? When we get back on track, I'm just gonna wash my face off anyway. So, that's that. I'm gonna wash the face. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with Mocha Mommy. Um, this is the Fenty Beauty Bronzer. Mocha Mommy. And honestly, most times when I use this bronzer, I usually don't even wear blush. And I usually put on my blush, I mean my bronzer before I do the blush, so it's probably really the only reason is this, this one got the opportunity to even go on. Ooh, my head is sticking off. Short. I just 
decided against the travel this year. And not that I won't go anywhere, but as a birthday trip, no. So, um, but I did send out invites last night to my friends. I decided to do a birthday dinner. That should be fun. I haven't done one of those in a long time either. Honestly, like 2020, what did I do for my birthday in 2020? Wasn't a dinner because wasn't nobody going to no restaurants. You remember the world was shut down in June of 2020. Um, oh, my God. oh, I had a little, a little kick back at the house is what I did. In, for my 30, that would have been, I think that was my 31st birthday. So, no, shoot, that was my 32nd birthday. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the first time in a long time that I'm actually celebrating with family and friends. I sent invites out last night for people to join me at a Disney restaurant here in Houston um, with one of my friends from college actually owns it. It's a really nice upscale restaurant. It's called um, Juliet. Kiera and I went there the other night. Y'all know Kiera. Who actually just texted me. She's my little snippet here. I'm so happy Mother's Day. Um, and yeah, the food was really good. The drinks were really good. The atmosphere was cool. And they had kind of like a little private room that you could you can do or whatever. So, I actually saw my friend that night. He just so happened to be at the restaurant because he's a very busy man. And so, I had talked to him about that and some other things on my birthday. We'll see if that comes to pass. And so, yeah. So, I booked that up to do. So, just going to do a birthday dinner with my friends and see how that goes. Should go well. I was like, oh, I'm going to invite about 20 people or so. <laughs> I ended up inviting 50 people, y'all. It's like, <laughs> wasn't planning on doing that and it's like of course once you have so many people restaurants especially smaller restaurants like that they like to do like the preset menus so they can prepare you know i guess make sure they have enough for that night or whatever the case so the preset menu is a hundred dollars minimum per person so you know i know for most not even most people some people may say oh that's a lot of money some may say oh that's nothing but you know i am one that respects everybody's coin i am out of Oh, it's gonna leave spots because it's not even spraying right. That was pointless. That's another thing I need to re up on. Um, anywho, that's the base. That's the dinner. So I'm waiting for people to RSVP to see if they're going to come. I just sent it last night. About 20 people have responded so far. So, yeah, that's it for birthday plans. I'm gonna do a little, a little bit of a And this is Kodiak candy. Y'all can't even see it. I think you Good morning. Happy Monday. I almost forgot we were vlogging. I not almost forgot. I really did forget. Just got back from the gym. It's 9 a.m. Um, I'm about to hop in the shower. I have a Zoom class this morning. I feel like I'm always in a class because I am. Um, a Zoom class at 10 and then a little bit of work today. Well, whatever. Work. Um, yeah. Happy Monday. Okay. Classes in session, y'all. Made me a smoothie for breakfast. This is my favorite keto smoothie. Berries, avocado. Um, I have a little bit of, um, whey protein in here. A keto version. Um, cheese seeds, flax seeds, and hemp seeds. Um, milk. Usually I do coconut water or I've been doing coconut water but I'm out of coconut water so it was um, almond milk this morning and that's it and it's really yummy. Update the price if, if a unit has been leased then you take it down and I have two eggs over there boiling as well so that should keep me pretty full hopefully until about lunchtime and then we'll figure out our life later. Good Tuesday morning. So I didn't really finish vlogging yesterday, but I didn't do much else. So I went to the grocery store last night. Um, just picked up a few little groceries. Nothing too crazy. I'm, I say this in like every vlog, but I'm really, really, really trying to focus for the next three weeks on just making healthier choices, which I do overall. But the real issue is, is making the healthier choices when I'm out and about. So, um, gonna be doing boiled eggs and smoothies for breakfast. Um, and you know, just, I bought like 
some good veggies. We're gonna make some stuffed bell peppers. All that good stuff. Anyways, I'm headed to the gym right now. Haven't been doing hot works because it's hot works doesn't have enough cardio for me. Um, I love hot works, y'all know that, but I've really been. I like to get my cardio in the month before my birthday. I like to do a 31 days of a cardio treat. And we have the cardio at Hot Works, but I'm working on the treadmill and everything else and running Tony's thighs, etc. So, all right, y'all, we are up and out of the house. Today is World Lupus Day, so we are wearing purple in support. Um, some of y'all know if y'all been here for a minute. My cousin Christine passed away from lupus four years ago. And at my brokerage, there's a young lady that was just diagnosed with um, stage four lupus. Um, so I'm, this is why y'all should follow me on Instagram. There's a post on Instagram in support of that. And then we're all wearing purple today. Um, anywho, I'm headed to work. I have a walkthrough to do. And then really the rest of the day is pretty light. Um, but I'll check in with y'all later. Hey y'all came to Auntie's house to pick up the little cousins. Come here, Ziggy. Ziggy. I was gonna show y'all bad little Ziggy, but he's really not bad. Come here. You gotta get, Ziggy. He don't listen like, come here. We cannot go on the couch. Oh, you can't go on the couch anymore? Yeah. I don't know why. Oh, I'm sorry, Ziggy. Are you ready? What you need? It's not. It's not cold. Okay. Pool time, y'all. I just got in the water. Now I'm out. Got one kid down there. I don't even know if y'all can see him. And then one is in the pool. <laughs> We're just gonna chill out for a couple of hours. Relax. I'm listening to Bridgerton. I have like two more books to go and then I'm done with the whole series. All right, we are back from the pool. The boys have taken their baths. I'm about to feed them some spaghetti. My house is honestly a mess, y'all. So I'm gonna let them eat and I'm gonna try to clean up a little bit. The bowl is hot, okay? Come sit down over here on the floor. I'm not gonna eat on my couch, sir. Somebody was like, Alexia, the house is lived in. This is beyond lived in right now. This is tragic. So. <laughs> Watching Toy Story and playing the game at the same time. I'm talking to Osa. He the one that want to watch to Toy Story. Thank you. Say your grace. Eat your food. It's technically holding Yeah, yeah, just say the grace. What is it? Amen. Amen. Good morning, y'all. Just finished working out gonna wash last night's dishes I really hate that I'm a morning dishwasher but like after cooking and eating and whatever else at night I never want to wash dishes and I'm normally really good about washing as I go but ooh, the boys were over here and you know there was just a few extra dishes so I'm gonna knock these dishes out real quick it's 7 58 a.m. um have to be at the office for 10, so. Let's get this Wednesday started. Okay, y'all, I'm out the house. Um, still in this loner vehicle. It's the same model of car that I have, but it's white and no tinted windows. Uh, mahogany has been in the shop maybe now for two months. Oh, two months, Lord have mercy, two weeks. Um, I use my parking brake. Uh oh, hold on now. Get it, get it together. 
the only thing that I don't like about this shirt. Maybe I just shouldn't have worn it. But it's on now. We at the house. Um, Mahogany has been at the Mazda dealership for about two weeks now, I think. Um, is it a full two weeks? I don't know. But my parking brake um, malfunctioned. And yeah. <laughs> That's that on that. Parking brake malfunctioned. So the last update they gave me, they were trying... They, they're just basically doing everything by the book, you know. This code comes up, they're trying to fix that. This, this, this. So, basically, the last thing they really told me was that they had to order a whole new system. I don't know for the parking brake. What well, I don't know. It's, it's been two weeks, I don't even remember really. And he said when that came in, they put that in and they were still getting error codes. So, they were going to have to call the big dogs somewhere else to figure out what the next steps would be. So basically what happened is, is that my back tires won't move because the parking brakes won't release. Um, so anyways, I'm still in this loner. Um, just in case y'all know, it really don't look no different other than the non-tinted windows. Um, and I guess that's really why I haven't been pressed to get mahogany back. Like I'll be forgetting sometimes that I'm not even in my own car uh, because I'm in the same car. Um, anyway, just putting a whole bunch of miles on theirs because when they gave it to me, it was at like, it was brand new. 800 miles I think was on it. Um, and now I have 2,045 miles on it. Because as y'all know, I do a lot of driving. Uh, this orange is my color of the season y'all it is just so pretty i really didn't feel like doing no makeup today and all of that but i'm gonna put on a little bit of mascara <laughs> oh how pretty is that this is that dose of colors um bow this is the nema tang collection i think i told y'all about that um, anywho, I'm headed to the office. I'm running eight minutes late. Hopefully, I can speed a little bit and get there about 10.05. <laughs> you know, five-minute grace period is acceptable. When you be pushing close to 10 minutes, it's like, girl, you don't even respect nobody, which isn't the case. But, like, you know, like we have 10.05, shaved off those few minutes. Now, we go inside. <laughs> oh, and this is the outfit for the day. All black everything. Cute. The way that I nap on this couch right here in this little corner position, it scares me, y'all. Like, I don't understand, but I took a nap. <laughs> and it was good. Now I'm here. I'm just at home relaxing, y'all. I'm a little bit more cleared it up to do. I just turned on this new show, Candy, on Hulu. Ooh, it's dark. Um, but I should probably go into my room and watch it so I can organize my clothes. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Good morning, good people. How are y'all doing this lovely... It's Thursday. Damn, it's Thursday? It's Thursday. I legit thought it was Wednesday. Um, I am headed to work. I made my smoothie this morning again. I ate my boiled eggs. So we'll see how long this holds me over. Um, I have to be somewhere by 11 and then I'm going to head to the office for a little bit and get some work done. Work that I should have done yesterday, actually. But because my couch naps, <laughs> that couch, baby, when I buy my house, that couch is going to have to like go somewhere that is meant for sleeping, just meant for relaxation. Because anytime I get in the nook of that couch, I go to bed. 
Um, so, anywho, I'm going to get some work done today with one of the other girls that I'm sharing office with. We kind of have the same things to do, and she's not, she, she needs help learning how to do it, so I'm going to teach her how to do it. And, yeah. A little update. So, remember a few vlogs ago, I showed you all um, a house that I like that was being built. And actually, I kind of want to drive by there and see what progress they've made with it so far. Um, but I decided not to move forward with that. So now there's another lot that I have my eye on um, that they haven't started building the actual houses yet. They literally just cleared the land and they paved one road. So hopefully they will be um, listing whatever is going to be over there. The only thing that I don't know is the price point. <laughs> and I'm like, I've been driving by there like once a week, praying over the land, praying over the dirt. Like, baby Jesus, please let this be my price point because the location is almost perfect to where I want to be 10 minutes from my office. So I may go over there today and um, pray over it with y'all. <laughs> That's seriously my only focus um, outside of work is just finding my home, which being a real estate agent doesn't make it any easier. People say that all the time. It does, but it doesn't because I'm still a person buying my first home and I'm still as picky as any first time home buyer. So there's that. <laughs> all right, just left the office, about to go drive by the dirt and pray over it. It's 3.35. So let's see how long it really does take me to get there. I said 10 minutes-ish, but I've never really timed it. So not too much traffic yet. Plus I don't have to get on the highway from the office. I literally bust a U, make a right, then I would be home. Okay y'all, I'm back at the dirt. And when I say dirt, I literally mean dirt. <laughs> so, this is the dirt that I've been praying over. When I first started coming, none of this was here, right? I've been coming maybe like just about three weeks now, not even that long. The last time I came, this middle road had been paved. Now they have this. So it looks like they're about to do some more paving, of course. <sighs> this is it, y'all. These are the surroundings. It's not that glamorous, but this house right here across the street, <laughs> this house right here across the street is for sale for $1.275 million. When they bought this lot, the dirt, it was like a little house on it like this. And I checked um, the HCAD records, the tax district records. And see, so yeah, this lot right here, is pretty similar to this, right? So they probably bought it just like this with a little shack on it because that's what the picture showed. It was a couple of years ago and they bought it for $360,000 is how much this lot sold for, right? This is more real estate talk than um, just like personal, but because this is personally, I want to buy it over here, whatever they build, if it's in my price point, so I'm telling y'all. So $360,000 they paid for the lot, the dirt or whatever land, you know, whatever was on top of it. Now they've knocked that down, they've cleared it out, and they're going to probably build maybe about, I say eight to 12 houses or so over here. Probably more than eight, definitely more than eight. Maybe even 12 to 16 houses over here. And potentially they can sell these houses for up to $600,000 each because of the area they're in. I can't afford that, so I'm hoping they don't do that. Um, but it's, it's a possibility. I should have said all that with y'all looking at me, but y'all get the point. So we're gonna have this as our, um, our thumbnail picture. <laughs> I was about to go across the street to um, Torchy's Tacos. And go have me a little taco Thursday. 
and a margarita. But I just pump gas. And I tell myself, girl, you got food at home. Go home. <laughs> because $52 I just spent to fill up wanna be mahogany. What should we call this this car? Which mahogany is actually ready. But I just have not made it to that side of town to the dealership to go get her yet. Now that I just filled her up with gas, I don't necessarily think that I have to bring her back full with gas because it's not a rental car, it's a loaner from the dealership. I need to verify. Um, I really don't think I do though. I'm going to ride my gas out is, is the point that I'm getting to. <laughs> so... Maybe I'll go get my baby. She probably missed mama. My poor pumpkin. My poor pumpkin. Okay. This light. Uh, I'm literally like less than a mile away from home. It's 524. It's probably going to just take me 10 minutes to get through these two lights. And I'm annoyed. I had a change of heart. The line was too long. And I wanted to hurry up and eat something and tinkle. Yeah, I came home, got comfortable, scheduled some showings for tomorrow, ordered some stuff from my little cousin on Amazon, and was about to hit the crevice of that couch. And I said, damn, I still have not worked out today. So, mm. <laughs> if y'all could only see what I just looked at, too. Mm. Just a pile of clothes. Mm. All right, so let's put on some workout clothes and let's go get it. Let's go get it. All right, outfit of the day. Very comfortable cash, y'all. Um, biker shorts, bodysuit, white linen little thing, and of course, these shoes, my Nike Cocos. I know I talk about, don't mind my trash. I talk about these all the time, but... They are literally more comfortable than walking around barefoot. Like, I love these shoes and my smoothie to go. I have about four properties to show this morning and then more work. <laughs> Good Saturday morning. I am in bed watching Doctor Strange. Um, going to the movies tonight to see the new Doctor Strange, I guess it's been out with like a week, but hold on. Oh, he stopped moving. I just heard all this rustling like above my head and in the walls. And I was like, what is that? And I looked outside and there's a guy on top of my roof. I'll see the louder. There he is. Is he done? <laughs> the ladder is like literally right above me. <laughs> Thank goodness I'm not sleeping. I mean, y'all, it's not even 8 a.m. 7.48 in the morning. 7.48 in the morning. 